it's Kribby Nee, and welcome to the channel. And welcome to this inspirational Christmas edition. Jesus is the reason for the season. Hope you guys are having a great day and you're getting ready for this wonderful and beautiful holiday. And it all begins here. So let me give you the scripture. And we're looking at the Gospels according to Matthew. Matthew 1, 18 through 25. I'm going to read those scriptures for you. Here we go. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. In the 19th verse, then Joseph, her husband being a just man, not willing to make her a public example, as was minded to put her away privately. 20 verse. But while he taught on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. 21st verse. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sins. 22nd verse. Now, all this was done that it might be fulfilled that was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, in the 23rd verse, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and it shall bring forth a son, and it shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted, God is with us. 24th verse. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him. He took his wife, in 25th verse, which is the last verse of this passage that I'm reading for you today, my beloved, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son and called his name Jesus. Now, I've got four points here that I want you to see in this story here as we get ready to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for those that believe, yet believe, that Jesus came to deserve to save sinners from their sins. Number one, Mary was never touched by a man. That's a miracle. When a woman can have a child, because test tubes can make a baby, but she was conceived by the Holy Spirit, which is something greater and something that you and I, or for the most part, don't hear about. So it was a miracle all within itself. Point two, God had to give Joseph a dream about Mary being with child, which is confirmation. Because now God's got to confirm the thing because he didn't want Joseph <laughs> Acting out of character. <laughs> Point three. Fear was canceled from Joseph because he began to get fearful because he don't know. Things get fishy when your girl shows up pregnant and you know it wasn't you. <laughs> Point four. Joseph followed the instructions of his dream. And that is a blessing to follow the instructions when given the instructions because for the most part, we live in a whole world that we get the instructions, but we don't follow the instructions. Because this was a very, very important piece to this whole story. And this, this story here about the birth of Christ and the, even the con uh, conception of Jesus, it's, uh, it deals with also the wise men, and, and, and I believe today even wise men still seek him. They still follow him. They still worship him. The shepherds, we see the nativity scenes all over the place. It's just a beautiful thing Understand that Christ came to give his life and gave his precious son for you and I. And I trust that you all will just have a wonderful Christmas. It's not about a Christmas tree. It's not about getting in debt and buying all these toys. But it's about the birth of Christ. Because without Christ, for the most part, there can be no Christmas. So because he came and brought his baby wrapped in swally clothing to be with us, 
and to make sure that there was a star at night that those that were seeking him can yet find him. And right now, in the day that we're living in, Christ is still that star. You just got to look up and see him and know that your redemption draweth nigh. So I'd like to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of my subscribers far and wide. And then for the most part, for everybody that's in the world. Merry Christmas and I wish you a blessed and prosperous New Year. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this time of the year. People are decorating their homes, putting up the Christmas tree, buying gifts and presents. But give us not to get caught up in the hustle and bustle, being in debt, doing this and doing that. But give us to see the Christ, the baby uh, wrapped in swaddly clothing that came to give his life for mankind. We thank you, Lord, for sending your precious gift. Give us to understand this and give us to rejoice in this holiday and be excited about what you have done for mankind. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, share this video. Enjoy your holidays. Enjoy Christ, because without him, there would be no Christmas. So, in the meantime, between the time, always remember that life is to be enjoyed. Hit that subscription, notification, thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next video. And may God bless you all this Christmas season. Peace.